Hey guys, I'm down here in the woods where I pray for y'all at night. I pray for all the special requests. If you click like on our prayer pin post, I pray for you or, or comment. Whatever you need, we, we lift it up to God. But you know, I've had this on my heart today, and I want to share it with you real quick. You know, there's a lot of Christians, including myself, a lot of times we don't have the, the fruits of the Spirit in, operating in our life. Like in Galatians 5, we, the Bible says if we live by the Spirit, we should walk in the Spirit. We should have love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, and gentleness and so on. And I find a lot of times I don't have that joy. A lot of times I don't have that love like I should. You know, the closest I ever felt to God was when I was born again. You know, it's the greatest feeling in the world when that love of God is so strong. No great as your sin is, greater more is His love. And that forgiveness just overwhelms you. And you have a love for everybody else. And you want to see people get saved. Where is the love in the body of Christ? Where is the compassion? Where are the fruits of the Spirit? I see a lot of people, including myself, going through the motions. We go to church, we read the Bible, we tithe, and we pray. But where's that fruit in our life? Why do we not have the Spirit operating through us the way they did in the old days? Why are things so bad in our country, and yet there's so little we can do about it? It's because we don't have that. We're not operating in that power that God has called us to operate in. He says you're more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. He says greater is He that's in you than He that's in the world. The Spirit of God is the most powerful force in this universe and He dwells within the children of the Most High. And the way you have that is repenting of your sins and believing on Christ. That He died for you. He shed His blood. He rose again the third day. And He's seated on the right hand of glory. And He says He sent the Comforter. In John the 15th chapter He tells us He's going to send the Comforter. And He'll testify of Him. And we will witness and testify of Christ. Too many people are going through the motions or being religious and the Bible warns us Jesus warns us in Matthew 7 he said there'll be many that cast out demons and heal people in his name and yet when they stand before him he'll say depart from me you worker of iniquity I never knew you it's not enough to know who he is he's got to know you you've got to be born again and then Christian we've got to be filled with the spirit we've got to be walking in the spirit I challenge you tonight search yourself in Galatians 5 see if you have those fruits in your life and if you don't Understand this, the reason you don't and the reason you've become anxious and stressed and depressed and worried is because you've taken your eyes off of Christ and you put it on yourself and your problems. God can handle anything, as has all power and all authority, and we need to focus on Him and let Him work through us in these last days. When I get off this video, I'm going to spend time down here in prayer for you guys, and I'm going to spend time down here in prayer asking God to fill me with His Spirit, and God give me that love and that compassion for the lost. May we burn out trying to reach the lost in this life because he says it's not his will that any should perish but people are perishing every day and there's too many Christians sitting around without the Spirit of God working through them and you're not helping nobody. Share this video. I believe it can help somebody. Until next time, let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in His sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. In Jesus' name, Amen.